Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today I'm going to show you how to make electricity using ice or heat. For this experiment, you'll need some ice. Can't hold it you'll need this, that's called a Peltier device. It's named after a French scientist named Jean Peltier. And a small electric motor. When you take ice out of the refrigerator, heat flows into it and it starts to melt. When one side of the Peltier is warm and the other side is cool, then heat from the warm side flows to the cool side. It works best when the temperature is different on each side. I'm going to teach you some big words. Thermoelectric device. <laughs> <laughs> a Peltier device is a thermoelectric device. In a thermoelectric device, electrons absorb heat and start to move. Here's my friend Eli the Electron and he's going to show you how a Peltier device works. Heat flows from the warm side of the Peltier device to the cool side. Eli absorbs this heat and becomes thermally excited. He jumps to a higher energy level and starts to move around the circuit. This is called the Seebeck effect. Eli uses his energy to turn the motor and then he goes back toward the Peltier device. As long as there's heat flowing, Eli will continue to move around the track and the cycle will repeat. The bigger the temperature difference, the more heat flows and more electricity is produced, which causes the motor to go faster. This Peltier module already has alligator clips on it so it will be easier to connect. The first step is to connect the alligator clips of the Peltier to your motor. Now our electric motor is connected. It's best if you have a plate so when the ice melts it doesn't make um, a big mess. We are going to put ice on one side of the Peltier. This will make one side cool and the other side will still be warm. This temperature difference will allow heat to flow through the Peltier. That heat flow will excite the electrons in the Peltier. <laughs> now we're going to put some ice on one side of the Peltier. Aha. Do you see how the motor is spinning? This is like a nice fan. Do you see the ice is causing it to move? The heat flow from from my hand to the ice is creating electricity. If you put ice on both sides, then it stops working. That is because the temperature is the same on both sides and there's no heat flow. Now I'm going to show you how to make electricity with heat. This is a bowl of hot water straight out of the microwave. Do you see how it's spinning? because it's absorbing heat from the hot water. What? See how fast it spins when I put hot water on this side and, and ice on that side? You just learned how to make electricity using ice or heat. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button below. And subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos. If you want to tell me something, then leave me a comment. And remember kids, science is fun. 